hello guys hope you're doing well uh in this video we're gonna be uh replacing i mean installing the fruition design kit with ac infinity fan because look at my temperatures on the board two board one and three seems to be okay it's about 83 degrees and 80 um and about 80 on the board three but board two is 108 degree on the chip 31 and chip 32 is also super hot so look at those temperatures we need to do that um, replacement as soon as possible so i guess we'll just uh, have to uh, get that done um, and let's get to it through this video guys it's super noisy in here uh, i'm gonna be removing my ks0 uh, ks3m uh, number two which I have labeled here and put the fruition design on first uh, one, I mean on second and then on first because this one has the uh, bad temperatures uh, what we've seen on uh, Ice River mining, uh, Ice River monitoring tool so I'm gonna try with fruition design see if that's gonna reduce my uh, uh, high temperatures by any cow because I have this uh, custom setup uh, fan that is just blowing, not fruition design. I just want to see if the, without the stock fans I can achieve any better uh, numbers on my temperatures. So let's get to it. I'm going to remove all this stuff and pull it out the miner out of here. And uh, we're going to apply the fruition kit that I have. So disconnected power, I'm going to take out this uh, trim that I have installed, the uh, 12 by 12 for Bosom. I'm uh, going to get the uh, Ethernet out and we're going to get started on the uh, fruition design here in a little bit. I have power ready off, so yeah, I'll be ready to go. It's so good to be away from this noise. Uh, take a look at this KS3M, it looks awful. I need to clean from all this tape glue. I use that silver. Okay, now when this we clean this device and it's all uh, back to like a new. Uh, we can take out the fans and I got my fruition design kits. My fruition design kit was sitting here for a while waiting until the right moment, I guess. And uh, I didn't have a time to even take it out. So look, I have two skits for KS3L or KS3Ms that are there. They're the same kits. Uh, and they're the same, I believe, for KS3 version. So I have my old screws, my chips, and everything ready. Probably need to get all these fans. Now I'm thinking if I'm gonna get this fruition design kit, it will be so much harder to get to the chi uh, to the boards to re to repaste it. I wonder if I should repaste now. Uh, okay, such a hard decision, I don't know. To be honest, what to do now? It was my still three fan option, so I'm gonna be using three fan piece on this. The second one that I have is two fan option, so I guess it's gonna go with the two fan. So let's get it. Uh, let me take the fans, see if I should do the repaste. I said I'm gonna do two phase, one with the fans only, and see if the temperature is gonna change on the mining tool or not. So. It's kind of hard decision now. Let me take it out and see how hard it is. All right, looks like we got all the fans removed. Uh, so yeah, our boards, uh, set up behind if we're gonna do repaste it. We need to remove these four screws pull it out um, Unscrew this four six screws and take it out this Connectors from the hash board then we can remove them and repaste so I guess uh, on the side, After I do this 
Prussian design install. I still can, uh, well, actually I cannot reach these two screws. So able to reach these two screws, that's probably there. Yeah, let me drill two screw, two screw holes and I'll remove, so later I don't have to re-unscrew this whole thing. All I'm gonna do, remove four screws, take it out, take the boards out. So let's get to it and I'll uh, pre-drill this uh, uh, two holes. And so when I was looking for my drill bit, I noticed they're on the back for the screws. They already have kind of uh, two niches built in, so it won't be really easy. basically router this uh, holes out. So we're gonna um, clean this up. And we'll see if the hole is gonna be accessible for later. All right, perfect. Yeah, so we can access the screws inside. I need to clean just a little tiny bit more so it's easier to remove those screws. And yeah, let's get to it and let's start installing the kit. Okay, so Fruition Design Kit came with this smaller screws, shorter screws, make sure you use that. Okay, so we put all six, uh, eight screws on this side. Make sure you use the machine uh, type screws on where the fan used to be. And then there is also the uh, self kind of Topping that goes in the plastic of the uh, fans for your um, PSU. And I show you here that we align if you're using three fan option. So if you flip the other way, it will not align with your uh, kit. So you have to make sure you use correct way first to set them up and then you can align and do that. I think eight screws is overkill uh, for this little plastic fin. Even using this uh, four screws outside, I think it's plenty, but let's uh, unscrew and get it done. All right, so my uh, piece didn't fit perfectly here. Gotta zoom out to show you. And uh, what I had to do is basically to make it completely flat, I had to send, down, send it down a little bit on the edges on both sides, if you could see, just to make it uh, fit nicer. Otherwise, it would just pop out and kind of make it hard to uh, push in. The first one was perfect, but looks like their print's not 100%. Uh, so I had to kind of do a little adjustment here, but not a big deal. Right, so we uh, set all screws in. So make sure to use this um, uh, plastic type screw into the fan with the existing PSU fan. And the machine type screws, how you guys see it, into the fan. So we got all eight set up here and just four for the three uh, fan option. If you have two fan option, you have to you can use four or eight screws as well. I think those internal screws are not really necessary and if you need to remove and replace your PSU it will be harder without removing so like right here you could just remove four screws and slide out your PSU when you need to remove I guess fan controllers are, and we're gonna just basically break on part carefully separating them one by one okay now if you uh, wanna, you make, make sure to take a picture so you know where all those four fans going. And we're gonna just slide it in this way. Uh, there is only one way you can do it. You can't even attach with the, with this plate being inside. So it will be for, will be facing out from the connecting plate. So they're all gonna be visible on the bottom here. Hopefully there is no damage in this little guy so we will start it up so okay everything connected so we're gonna put the cover back and run it and then the repaste part will be a second okay so pretty much goes easy together there are just four screws uh, i'm removing the upper screws 
one lid and now you don't need to remove the lower screws because it's going to pull out the hardware it's connected to your board here so you don't really need to do that so just use the upper two screws on each side when you remove the upper plate same when you do the PSU replacement and that's pretty much it we put back these four screws here on the top and then the little screw that goes just inside here it's of course on the other side Oops. don't lose any screws when you do that and you'll be fine okay so it's back and ready to go i'm gonna attach my ac infinity fan um still have to bring back to my shed right it's super noisy here so we'll be uh, quickly i have this case 3m put uh, up in front case 3 moved further i have drilled a little hole here on the exhaust side to put the wire uh for my uh AC Infinity controller, Wi-Fi controller. It's running at 10 uh, right now, so it's 100%. So we can start and running. I turned the power on, so it start. Your ambient temperature here is about 85 degrees Fahrenheit. So uh, of course it's on the top. Okay, let's shut it down. This KS1 right there. Bam, power off. I'm gonna disconnect. network turn the power off on the connect the power here and I'm gonna push all this out after this so we can work with this KS3 number one basically by uh, removing all these fans what I did here I removed the grills and I attach internal screws four screws I'm gonna keep and I only gonna use four screws right there and the reason is then it's really easy to replace your uh, if you need PSU so let's get it done So we're back in the shed, so it's super noisy here, so I'm just going to record the audio. We connected the uh, AC Infinity fan uh, on that fruition design kit, and also we have the exhaust going outside the shed. And um, after I started, there, there was an issue with the one of the miners that the red light was on, two of the red lights for fan, and uh, one of my uh, fruition design uh, chip basically for fan simulator was uh, de probably um, defective so I had to temporarily put this fan just to be able to start the miner and show it on the web GUI and I'm gonna take the chip from the other set and put it in there so we have the uh, temperatures went down a little bit but not good enough we still have 106 105 on chip 31 32 and some other chips are pretty hot as well down below so that means i need to do my thermal paste replacement as soon as possible and that's gonna be on next video you'll see what i found out when i did open up the board number two so um, if you're interested in the fruition design kit i'll, I'll put link down below and you're welcome to uh, check it out. Uh, thanks for watching this video and I will see you on the next one.